Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe 3970J in yellow gold. You can see and you can purchase this perpetual calendar manual wind chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos. Please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this third series Patek Philippe 3970J in yellow gold. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the 3970 was pared down somewhat, more traditional in size than its 2499 predecessor. This reference which ran from approximately 1986 to early 2004 spanned three generations, all of them 36.5 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the chronograph pushers or the crown. This example, a later reference 3970J with display case back is a little bit thicker than the earlier versions by 1 mm, 13 mm versus the 12 mm solid case back equivalents. Believe me, it's worth the extra height on the wrist to see your movement. And a compact 43 mm from lug to lug makes this watch wearable on a huge range of wrists. So I would say even if your wrist is as small as 13 to 13 and a half centimeters in circumference, depending on your wrist shape, you should be able to wear this watch with great security, style, and proportion. Now the watch is hefty, not quite as hefty as its solid case back counterparts, but you do feel like you're wearing something substantial and precious metal in spite of the discrete traditional proportions of the watch. There is a matte black rectangular scale alligator leather strap, monotone stitch folded edges paired with a filigree Calatrava cross capped full deployant yellow gold buckle which nicely counterbalances the watch. I often say it's nice to have a substantial clasp not just because it prevents accidental droppage at bedside but also because it counterweights the watch head and prevents that tendency to capsize that can occur when a precious metal watch is poorly counterweighted by its strap and its buckle. Here everything is in balance. Now you can see the sweetness of the case lines, the lugs and the bezel. The bezel is concave so it shrinks away at the crystal before it flares and abuts the case flank. The case has wonderful compound curves, curving from top to bottom and also from flank to flank. You can see how the case band lines run into the fluted lugs, beautifully sculpted and sharply downturned. The watch is handsome from any angle, but its most striking aspect is the dial. Now here you can see what makes it a third series 3970, baton style hands dart style indices. You can see that the sub-registers, contrary to the very earliest examples, are the exact same color and tone as the dial itself, and naturally solid screwed on case back versus, or rather display screwed on case back versus the solid snap back of the earliest examples. So the watch is handsome and easy to read. You can see excellent contrast, yellow gold on matte silver backdrop. You have the day and you have the month, 12 o'clock, the Patek Fleet Marquee. At 9 o'clock you have constant seconds and the 24 hour indicator, which gives you an AM PM reference for the time at center, but also lets you know when you're in the watch's danger zone and should avoid trying to set the perpetual calendar via the case side pushers. Now there's a bosom style moon phase at 6 o'clock in tandem with a radial date, and at 3 o'clock you can see the leap year cycle indicator 1 through 4 inboard of the chronograph minutes in progress. Beautiful blued lancet style seconds hand for the chronograph at center, traditional pump pushers for the chronograph, a slightly recessed crown for a handsome profile, and then on the case back you're looking at the 24 joule Patek Philippe CH2770Q. It's a chronograph in the most traditional sense. Column wheel operation, here you can see the column wheel, is a capped Geneva style. The cap helps to prevent the horns and the levers from popping out vertically if the watch is subjected to a jolt. It's also beautifully finished. Now the thing about a column wheel lateral clutch chronograph is though not quite as efficient as a vertical clutch, as you actuate the functions, watch the chronograph drivetrain slowly moving into alignment with the chronograph center wheel. And you can see the driving wheel of the chronograph drivetrain being turned by the fourth wheel of the drivetrain of the watch itself. It's beautiful to see and thanks to the column wheel crisp and a pleasure to actuate. Everything is executed to the highest standards of 
Geneva tradition. You can see this is the more traditional Geneva Hallmark stamp, not the later Patek Philippe seal. These watches built between 1986 and 2004 only ever featured the Geneva Hallmark, not the later interlocking Patek Philippe PNP. You can also see the immense balance, almost a third of the diameter of the movement. It's chugging away at 18,000 vibrations per hour. It has a gyromax free sprung architecture, so it can take and hold a precise regulation, even in the face of jolts, disruptions, and vibrations on the wrist. And thanks to the Breguet overcoil architecture of the hairspring, it has robust resistance to positional or gravitationally induced timing deviation. All told, when fully wound, it has a power reserve of about 45 to 48 hours. And you can see the standard of finish speaks for itself. Beautiful straight grained levers. Cote de Genève across the bridges. Tight and even prolage on the base plate below the balance polished screw heads with chamfered slots and a medley of colors spanning a spectrum from silver to the violet of the pivot jewels to the gold of the train wheels and the balance. It's an absolute feast for the senses, beautifully executed, mechanically outstanding. It unites art and engineering. You can see and you can purchase this Patek Philippe 3970J Patek Philippe Perpetual Calendar Chronograph on our website.